So step one is to first get comfortable with speaking about it because a lot of times what will happen is we'll have discomfort as adults talking about death or talking about sex or talking about religion and then that makes us nervous and then we project that onto our child. Um, so for example, with talking about religion, what I like to say is, I don't say this religion is bad and this religion is bad and our religion is right. What I say is different people have different beliefs and different people have the right to have different beliefs. And some people believe that there's Buddha and some people believe that there's Jesus and some people believe that there's Allah. Um, and we don't have the right to criticize other people about what they believe and we're not mean to them about it. Um, we don't say bad things about what they believe but here are our beliefs and this is what we do in our family and here are the rules that we follow their rules are just different and so if you frame it that way then it one gives the child the opportunity to you know have some comfort in their own beliefs and their own religion but not say oh well you're bad because we do it this way and your way is wrong um, and I found that that to be pretty helpful um, with religion and with other things, with things like death, again, it depends on what you believe with your religion and you know within your family. But I think one of the very important things um, to talk about with death with children is to use the word um, die, sometimes the word passing, or sometimes the word um, uh, gone home. I've heard people say it's sort of confusing with children because they don't quite understand the concept of someone going away or a pet going away forever. And so if you use the word death, then you can talk about, well, dead means that the person can't talk anymore and that we won't see them anymore um, and that um, we won't be able to play with them anymore. And a lot of times, especially with toddlers, they'll come back and they'll ask, um, well, you know, are we going to see Aunt Mary? And then you sort of have to go through that process again. Remember, Aunt Mary died and, you know, we gave her flowers and she's not coming back anymore. Anymore. But what you can give to them or say to them for comfort is that, you know, we have pictures and we have memories and remember that song Aunt Mary loved so much and we all sang it together and we laughed. So you can do those types of things. And again, books are awesome for this topic. There's some really good ones. There's a whole dinosaur series that I use a lot. So there's when dinosaurs die, when dinosaurs divorce, when dinosaurs get married, the dinosaurs do everything. Um, and so using that book is really helpful. Um, Sesame Street also has a really good DVD that's out, um, and Elmo and his family are featured in it, and Elmo's uncle dies, I believe. And I think you can get that online, and it's really super helpful, and it's interactive. Um, and kids really actually enjoy the DVD, but it's also reinforcing what death is and how it works and those kinds of things.